Now, to the card, sweet Sammy J. I want to start with Moses because Moses, three punch debut, <laughs> done. Yeah. What that a unit that kid outrageous. is. Outrageous. But you can't talk about that without talking about his brother. That's the thing, because that's what well, fueled they, that rage. They changed the um they changed the card around because Carol lost, didn't they? Because they did say the bro- they said the brothers were gonna be back to back. And then after yeah. Carol lost, it was um he was in oh, someone else was in between. Yeah. And that there was no like they, they really did change the, the running order of that card yeah. pretty Even from immensely. Get-go, it was different. Yeah, from from the start, even even when they, they they changed it a couple of times, listen that 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 presenter bird that they've got Joe, she's very Paolo like Joe, which I thought Paolo was a bit did. weird. You and sure. you and gave him some proper abuse for that. Yeah, yeah. She, she's just not for me, you know. She's just like a a North London she's queen. Not, she's not for the setting. I don't think. No. No. That's not who you have interviewing someone after the, the, the manner, the tone, the questions themselves, yeah. the face that she pulls when she asks. Well, it so was, now, I, um... I've got a friend called Joe who I still want to use for our in-persons, giving it the MJP because she would crush it. I think that she yeah. would do a much better job and is more accessible and more fun. And it is what it is. But anyway, amazing debut. There I is not... Believe- Go he's on. two years younger than me, and he's a yep. heavyweight. Mate, he's so big. He's a monster. And, he, and he's yeah. a laugh, right? When I was at the weigh-in, I was just about to put him on camera, yeah. and then the, 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 the face-to-face was going on, right? And I was with Francis, and I was with Moses, and we were laughing, yeah. saying that, like, F being on either side of that stare-down. Right, especially looking at better behave, and to be fair, you wouldn't really want to see fucking an angry yard looking at you dead in the eyes no, anyway. No. You just, you just don't need that. And Moses yard turned around and it, yeah, Moses went, that. Moses went, oh yeah, fuck that. I went, mate, you are. He's yeah. huge. He's baby fucking Huey, and yeah. a nice like his head is like a crash helmet. He's. I really want. Well, Junior, I, I Junior Joe Joyce. About getting him on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. We'll we'll chase it up. He um, um, he was training with Joyce at 15, 16. Of course he was. His head's like, bigger than his. <laughs> it's the only man there is. <laughs> no one, no one can compare to the Swede on those boys. Phenomenal, phenomenal debut. When you come yeah. out, you do one jab to the body, you faint, you throw another one to the chest, and then another one kind of the force of it goes through the gloves into the forehead, and the geezer says, mm. and I want to say as well, that geezer, yes, he was a new fighter. He wasn't a journeyman. He wasn't there to L. He was a two and one fighter. Two and one, we don't know what he is. Yeah. Before we knew, he was coming out there really hungry to upset the apple cart. That boy, that boy could be special. And that was, it was one of those ones as well, where it was a bit like, because they had all the pressure, all, all the pressure of debut and all the stuff they put into him. Mm-hmm. And then I went, and his brother's just been fucking sparked out. So I was like, oh, feel sorry for him now because he's now got to go out. In the, but I think he just channeled that rage and just let oh, it yeah, out, that, didn't he? That, that, that was the fuel to make him come out with those shots. They were more venom than I don't, than I think he was going to throw shots with if that hadn't what, happened. What did you think of um, Carol's performance? He was in, boxing in, well hold, until hold on, hold on. In, the round before in closing, I do think we should go over what we were talking about on the stream. If, you know, Fraser Clark is the one that Sky are going, fucking all the chips, you're yep, our yep. new AJ, you're our new one, we're going to go for this, push, 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 right? You know, they've got Fabs on one side, they've got Johnny Fisher, they've got all of the, all of the up-and-coming heavyweights, right? I say this with the utmost respect to every single one of those guys. There is one AJ. That's it. There is one Fury. That's it. We've only ever seen one Fury before. He's a he's a one of a kind. Yeah. AJ, relatively a one of a kind, right? None of those boys, as it stands now, and I can be wrong, although I did yes or yes, did I say eight, nine corner pulls him out? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe it's on the record, just saying the shaman's back. On that note, hold on, you talk for a minute. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were saying about his brother, right? 
about Carol. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. It is funny for Queensbury because they very well, even though it's only the debut, they may actually have the, the next one. one. He, they yeah. may actually have yep. the <laughs> next heavyweight destroyer because he is 11 years old. He has so much time. I would, yeah. five fights, put him in with Dubois, let him nick Dubois's belt. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just cash out on Dubois. You know, I really think put him in the bin. In his next fight. Yeah. I do think Dan's getting cashed out on very quickly. Fact. But you have especially to. after especially after yard. I think Warren's realised that his investment shouldn't be so heavily on a oh, single fighter after this yard mate. fight. I and think I like, think Maybe end of Daniel round one. Needs to... yeah, round yeah, one, they let's... made a transfer, didn't they? Round one, yeah. someone got their mobile banking app up and just went, um, "Can you get them on the phone because we need to do a mu- we we need to do a big <laughs> payment on this one." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a chaps. It's not a bax. It's a chaps. Okay, fine. Yeah, account uh, use the coots, please. Is what they did on that one. Coots is a very illustrious bank, Sam. You wouldn't know about it. It's fine. Okay. Is that like a Luxembourg <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing? No, no, no. Coots, Coots no, is like an central a, a Coot, Yeah, the, Coots is one of the ones Ancient. where you need. Uh, you, I don't think that. I think they've eased up a little bit. But when someone's got a Coots no, you account, you still need a like, referral. You can't you need get a referral, but, the referral, but there used to be a minimum. Like you, you know, like you go into HSBC, level is, or the and it's of like, money. M- look, bruv, I want to open up bank account because I never had bank account before because my job seeker need to go somewhere, <clears> right? You can't do that with Coots. You got to go in there with like two hundred and fifty grand. Right, otherwise they're not opening and they an account. They could still for you. say nah later, son. And they'll still say, yeah, yeah. we don't need this. Uh, yeah, okay. we, we see, we simply don't need this. Um, <laughs> I always used to like to see it when the old Coots account comes into the accounts from the clients. That was always huge. You yeah. just like, oh Coots, yeah, oh yeah, I use it as my current account. Of course you do. Of <laughs> course you do. <laughs> Anywho, Carol, please, Jesse Page. So he was boxing very well until the round before it finished. He was boxing very, very well. The round before it finished, it changed because he actually got complacent. And at those weights, you can't. He got caught with a very sweet counter right hand. Very sweet. And it it was a problem for him. And he didn't adjust to it. He got the exact same shot. So it wasn't, he, right. We're not him. This is opinion. This is, what what do you like to call these? These are the reactions is what you like to call them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the reaction of it was is that 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 he he wasn't like stunned, buzzed, central nervous system out of whack or whatever. He was genuinely hurt. Mm. Is what that was. That well, was did he, when they, his um, face was pissing the, blood. Yeah. yeah when they fucked. sat him in the corner yeah. towards the end, it, like I think he had three or four people trying to get him to sit down. Like it, yeah, yeah. It took him a while. He was that was hurt, a hurt. that was devastating shot. It yeah. caught him flush on the left right side of his cheek as a southpaw and just turn his head pretty much it was shocking it, it was it was an absolute shocker i hope that he's back and i hope that because he's only i mean paolo was obsessed the fact that he was like he's sponsored by bang bang and olsen exactly and olsen. He's tw- yeah he's 22 what's his record sam it's not thing is uh what, was he like six nine and, and one nine, nine and one. one there you go like who cares yeah. The thing he, is, he, 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 he should and can learn from that comeback better because that was a case of a complacency. Yeah. It wasn't a case it's, of class. Um, it wasn't that he wasn't good enough. Got complacent, got caught with a big shot. The, the worst part, should come back think, better. Go on. The worst part about it for him, I think, was that, you know, that whole thing was it was geared up for, you know, both brothers on the card, mm-hmm. both wins. Mm. And it was it was bit, um, geared up for it's their night, basically. And it's just a yeah. shame that they both didn't walk away with the win. It is, but... Now that I am very, very happy to say that the era has changed. The Floyd era is gone, right? We all saw Yard win much more than he ever has done before from getting stopped. There was no, there was no anything. Look at Lee Wood. Look at Yard. Look at all of our fighters now that have got the odd L. Look at AJ. Mm. AJ will sell out the O2 over wherever and it will be a proper sellout to see him fight just to see him fight people have changed on this mythical undefeated stuff and now the mythical undefeated ones it means more loma yeah. took a l early days no one gives a fuck. 
No one cares. I think everyone. I think the main frustration now is just getting the big fights made. I think people people For don't sure. care about the records. They just want to watch good boxing, and it's just. I think now more than ever, it's so hard to for these big fights to get made because there's so um there's so there's many so different many things pops. that go into yeah. it, and there's so yeah. yeah. Right. I think that's but the main I, frustration. I will say that Jesse, Allen, and I do have to be a little bit respectful and a little bit thankful, maybe the wrong word. Appreciative is the word because of misfits, because of Jake, because of them, yeah. because, because it's given actual boxing, and I say that openly, KSI winning the belt that he had designed, manufactured, and made against some geezer. Made it is what it is. Shout out, made in Cornwall. Shout out. Cro- Crows in the camp. Crows in the camp. Crows team yeah. money now as well. Yeah, Crows team money now. You're not allowed to mention mm-hmm. that, are you? Or are you? Yeah, yeah fine. Shout out, TMT. Forever. You need to get some <laughs> serious, serious gold t-shirts, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Now, now that we've moved past that, that's a good thing. And that can only be a case now with Misfits doing 22,000 at the O2, disgusting. Doing 13,000 at Ovo, gross. Yeah. Who the fuck are these people going to see this and paying money for it? They have to put on these fights. The UFC was a threat for a while. Boxing kind of got his shit together again. And at least they siloed. They kind of copied the UFC. So you had the PBC fighting PBC guys. You had Matchroom on Matchroom. Mm -hmm. You had Queensbury and Sky. And like they they were all just siloing out. Now they have to because there's a new obnoxious, loud. Sam, are they actually doing tag team boxing in a cage? It's not. It's not in a cage. That, that, that was a joke. It's definitely but not I'm, in a cage, right? It's not in a cage. But I, I think. But, but, it's but getting, they are doing tag it, team is, boxing. It's rumored. On I've seen it. This isn't anything from work. I've seen it on Twitter because they're on about you know that um, that Pineda. Hit, yeah. Hit him, can we can up. we call him by his actual name, please? What's his actual name? Mexican McLovin. Mexican McLovin. <laughs> It's him and the mullet versus two other people. B. Dave? I think you mean B. Dave. The mullet and McLovin. <laughs> oh, it'd be good. Wow. I really want them to go all in with it, though, and have like, like tag team names and matching attire and all of that. Sam, oh, said that we should, Sam, Sam said that we should stream a WrestleMania, right? Wait, wait. I would, I would do the crow's nest because I think it would actually be true bants to sit there with the crow in a perch, watching him watch something that he intensely loves that you and I haven't. Like the last time that I watched what was then WWF, right? Yeah. yeah. Your dad, how old's your dad now? 59. 59. Your dad was younger than me now. To say that you weren't born yeah. is hilarious <laughs> mm-hmm. right you were not yeah. even a concept you were a stain on the sheets boy you were you were being flushed is what you were at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you were being wrapped up in toilet paper and flushed down the loo Shung, bye i would do it just for the fun of that and then you said to me it starts at 12 and it goes on till 6 a.m and i just said nah the end. <laughs> I've stayed. I've stayed up for them before. It is a laugh, though. Yeah, I have as well. When I was ten. Fun. Yeah. Uh, that's good. I'm I'm still still then. <laughs> oh, I'm mate, I was down. into it. Big. You're in the era. You're in the the in between era, though. You're in the era Stone where they Cold took era. All... Yeah, Stone Cold was huge. He was. He was. He was the only like actual savage. The geezer was smashing Stone cans Cold. of beer and just pouring them down his Gregory. What was that thing that I sent you? Stone Cold and The Undertaker drinking wine together. Is that what one of them does now? Huh? Um, yeah, yeah I sent him it. There's like, I don't know if it's like, you, you know how like Obama and Bruce Springsteen have got the Outlaws podcast when, yeah. when come on, it's so gross. They were doing the same thing, I think. Outlaws. Uh, Stone Cold's got Obama. his own podcast and then The Undertaker just does whatever he wants now. He's like fully retired. Do you know who loves the Stone Cold podcast? Go on. Big Steve. Loves it. It. He That's really a good, does. It's a good podcast. Don't call I've never Don't listened to it. Call. I'll give it a go though. 
he's really one of good. the few voices where I would. It's like him. Everyone wants to be able to do Christopher Walken. He's an actor from before your time, but you probably know Christopher Walken. Like, but but Stone like Cold is it? You don't know Christopher Walken? No, he must. No. Know. Wow. What's he been in? Do you know? Do you know Al Pacino? Yeah, I know Al Pacino. You know Al Pacino. You know. You know... Uh, what? From yeah, Fire he Fire. will know Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe was the first Green Goblin in the news. Yeah. In the new. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's Willem Dafoe. He's in the most. He has. He has a loaf. He truly has a rig on him. That guy. It is. Yeah, Dafoe's. It's. It, it's a pipe. How it's, do you know that? He gets it. He's had it out in films. You know who else has got a weapon? The E.E. Yeah, e. Uh, geezer, you know Kevin like Bacon. A, do you know it's it was, like it a, was pre, 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 pre? No, it's not. But it's pre-prosthetic because also he was banging out Madonna for a bit. <laughs> yeah, the geezer's uh, no, features Ke are obscenely large. It's gonna always be the way. Yeah, Kevin Bacon is another one. He's got a bit of a rig on him. He gets it out in wild things. You're like, well, that was a healthy piece. Respect, Kev. Have you ever seen Pulp Fiction? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, him. Uh, him, yeah. <laughs> of course you have. No, I haven't. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, I, 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 know, I, know I, would, I would have thought okay, I might have seen right, that. Right, hold on, hold on. Right, This is where we have to go into this a little bit. Before we go into to anything else on that card, you've seen the Rocky films, right? Yeah, yeah. All of them? Yeah, all of them. One, Many two, times. three, four, five, and Balboa? Yeah. Okay, fine. And you've seen Creed 1 and 2? Yeah. Semi-hyped about Creed 3? All good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, fine. So this is a good standing. Have you seen Raging Bull? No. Okay. That's I'll let you off that... on that one. But uh, Raging, Raging, Ra Raging Bull is, is arguably the best of all of the boxing films. For sure. I nearly watched, let him off um... because of the what? time it came out. I nearly watched the Ali movie the other day with sure. will smith but then it's not um, it's not great but it's got james tony in it as james it as does. joe frazier yeah it, it's just it's weird because will smith just always is will smith right. yeah it, yeah he is here is Do an absolute I mean, like... an absolute undercover boxing film gem that maybe even jesse page hasn't seen or heard of it it's called the great white hype right it's okay. got marlon wayans it's got um, what's his name? Michael Berg, the director who's also starring in it. It has the worst, the worst boxing scenes you have ever seen. <laughs> right? It's got Jamie Foxx in it. It's got Jeff Goldblum in it. Decent. Great white height. Is that one well with Sammy? Look. Sammy. Sammy, you will. Yes. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. But where, where he, he's become, he's the naughty promoter, he's the Don King esque. Yeah, he's the Don yeah. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a little bit of a penchant for people in school uniforms. A little bit naughty. <laughs> Anywho. Well, they could use that as humour. Well worth a little look. And you know what else is actually a surprisingly good film is Southpaw, even though the entire time he's all it's, 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 like it's not bad. It's not bad. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake oh, Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Cinderella yeah. Man's not bad. Cinderella Man's decent. Yeah. I mean, th these, these are all just like pivotal viewing for you. But I've also given you Four Kings, and I bet you ain't watched that yet yeah. either. Oh, I've been a bit busy this week, haven't I? Yeah, the Showtime one, all four episodes. The Huge. new one. Yeah, the new one, the one you got as well. You've seen it. I think oh, yeah, you've I've, seen I've, it. I've, yeah, yeah. How, yeah. Was, um, yeah, your sister was the it. thing yeah. on it. Plus production, yeah. yeah. In it though. Right. Pin in it. Should we? Should we Tommy main Fletcher? event it up? Uh, Tommy Fletcher. Yeah, Tommy Fletcher would beat up a. It was he was the one in the Slazenger vest, wasn't it? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He was stick from the dump. Stig of the Dump is what he was coined as by Ewan. That yep. guy, that guy, oh yeah. he is a how, true warrior. How much of a G is Tommy Fletcher? I love that dude. He genuinely. He he he's a really nice dude, but he um he looks fucking terrifying. Like when yeah. when we were um when we were on a night out, he, like no, just like the like his resting face, like the guy's legs. I, I was watching with was saying like, um, oh, you wouldn't want to like bump into him on a night out because he's the kind of guy that looks like he would just punch you for fun. Yes, he, but he he does. He, you know what he looks like? He looks like he has four, maybe four to eight double Jack Daniels, and then you know what his party piece is, punching wing mirrors off of cars. We've all yeah. seen that geezer and yeah. he looks like that geezer. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I said that it's impossible for him not to have about a 12 year old child, even though he's 19 at most. He's yeah, a year older than yeah. me, I think. Yeah, he's got a kid yeah, so as well. Maybe, maybe that's, several. That's, that's, already, <laughs> that's already in year eight. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Norfolk. But Tommy Fletcher, you have an open invite onto Fighting Words whenever you want, mate. You are an absolute gentleman and you beat the fuck out of that geezer. It was fine. Did you, you see the, it's like the I record said, of the guy you fought? 105 yeah, the, fights. It was yeah. eight. Eight wins, ninety-seven losses, and I think there was yeah. a draw as well. Yeah, a true there was two draws, no, or something. Like that. Uh, I don't know. There but, was a few. Yeah, but it was like one hundred and five or something. Yeah, total. we had Jamie Quinn on, mate. Do you remember when we had him on the jer- like the the life of a journeyman? It may have even been before you joined the I familia. Think that was before me. So he's Jamie Quinn's record is is astonishing. Have a little Google. Jamie Quinn's record's like. Is he the Camden Three... caretaker, or is that a different? One? No, 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 no. He's That's Cam... the other Jamie, one, isn't it? Jamie Quinn is the one that that made it. He was like fighting weekly on the bubble yeah. shows because they, they were just said, phoning um, him up. Uh, the, the guy last year, the guy Tommy fought, had twenty five fights. Based yeah. on commentary. There you go. This <laughs> see, but Tommy. It's like good. I said on. It's like I said on the stream. That can do nothing but good things for a, for a young up and coming pro. Mm-hmm. You have a fight where you literally find out that you can't crack everyone and they fall over. You're going to mm-hmm. have some nights where you've just mm-hmm. got to accept your ego and be like, well, fuck it. This is just going to be hard night's work. Win however you win. Win's a win at yeah. the end of the day. It's one of those also, ones where it's, it's going to boost his record. No one's going to remember this fight because it's not going to be on like any of his highlight reels and that. But no. it, it's, it's another win in that column. You know, he goes up the rankings and yeah, he'll be out when again. That, when, when a thick bald geezer is standing in a Slazenger vest looking like he's about to do a, his 19th white collar, maybe dabbling with the idea of doing an unlicensed. That, that Slazenger that vest, that was such a was bastard. That was yeah. such a bastard of a vest. It's like there is no tier lower at Sports Direct than Slazenger. Ah, uh, wait, no. no, 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 no. What is the... Um, Prostar. No, not Pro... Fuck Prostar. Prostar's luxury. <laughs> Prostar is like... Prostar is like the Hungarian flex. tuxedo. That That's big. That's... Um... What? Doné. The Sports Direct own brand. Doné. Do you remember Doné. that shit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. When you see someone in Doné, you just... You, you want to hear their life story because you think either you are a billionaire because... Yep. You just do not give a single fuck, or you are a cautionary tale. 